We got to talk some basketball, ladies and gentlemen. It's, basketball season is here. So while we were on a brief break, the Knicks and Wolves made Brandon look like Negro Domus. Brandon, you said you wanted to see the cat Julius Randle trade. Yeah. They agreed. So they had a blockbuster trade, sent a four-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA selection, Carl Anthony Towns to the Big Apple, with the Wolves getting a three-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA selection, Julius Randle, former Nova Nick, Dante DiVincenzo, Keith Bates Diop, and a 2025 protected first-round pick via the Pistons. So the Hornets completed the three-team trade, getting Charlie Brown, Daquan Jeffries, Dwayne Washington Jr., two second-round picks from the Knicks, one second-rounder from the Wolves, plus $7 million cash. So Knicks also acquired the draft rights to big man James Najee in the deal. So Randall was the Knicks' first All-NBA player since Melo suffered a season-ending shoulder injury. Watch Jalen Brunson emerge as a top-five player in the league, leading the Knicks to their first 50-win season since 2013, finishing second in the East, <clears throat> reaching the second round before getting knocked out by the Pacers in seven games. But, Shad, you are our resident Knicks fan now. You made that decision during uh, our summer league show. <laughs> you abandoned your allegiance to the Celtics, jumped on over to the Knicks, you free did, agency. How did I abandon? You, are you still in? What was the goal? <laughs> you, you led them to glory. In, in championship one, right? Okay. Mission accomplished. All right. Now I get to do it with another team. I'm doing not, what LeBron did. They're not going to do it with <laughs> What's wrong with what I, I'm trying yeah. to follow the, 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 the right. blueprint? Well, well, I he, got one. He's hated for that. I got one. <laughs> now I'm going to the, we're going to get another one. I don't know about that one. We're going to get huh. another one. So let's talk about this trade from the Knicks side. Uh, how much does the cat trade move the needle for the Knicks in the East? Um, it makes us a lot more flexible. <laughs> us. Makes us a lot more flexible. <laughs> in transition, the way we already like to play fast, right? Um, I think Julius would have slowed down that tempo that they was creating. I think losing DiVincenzo, losing our three-point sniper affects that transition. Opportunity, but at the same time, when you look at Cat, he spaces the floor differently than Julius does because he's he's more agile. He's faster. He can do a lot more things with the ball. So it makes him a lot more flexible. Say, I like, I li huh? You think he's faster than Julius? Yeah, Cat. Yeah, Cat's a cat. He's a cat, <clears throat> right? It just my my <laughs> downside with Cat is being a cat. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. <laughs> you can be a tiger. You can be a lion. You can be a panther. You can be in all those things. Then you can be. Little side meat, it's little side meat. Don't so, he got like 27? His shoe size 27, right? Yeah. Shoe size 27? Yeah, really like 27, 25, anything but 19, 25. right? Just 20. Got boots, right? It's size 20. Yeah. 27 is. He yeah. look good, he's man. Bashad previously on this show. That don't sound fast yeah. at all. Yeah, he, 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 I don't think he's faster, but he, <laughs> he's definitely. Previously on the show on this very couch. Ain't no, ain't no boy wearing 20s fast. He fast, man. Ain't he no person wearing size uh, 20 Bob. fast. No, nah, he's not faster than me. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all don't like, watch the game, man. He's impossible. We watched. No, we, had, not, we watched. Yeah, we watched. Watch the game. Not he was at very, him. he was very Cat, fast. Cat is fast slow for motion. a fucking seven-footer. He's faster than all the seven-footers out there. He's faster than uh, he's Andre faster Drummond? He's faster than all of the seven-footers out there. He's not faster than Andre Drummond. Mm. Or Wimby. Or, yeah. Ooh. Faster? Run? No. So, Shab, before the trade went down on this very couch, you said you like dogs, not cats. Mm -hmm. But have you changed your stance now? No, I haven't changed <laughs> my cat. stance. Said, of course not. Can cat become a dog with the Knicks? No, yeah. cat's going to be a cat. We're just going to have to work, you know, with a cat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the only thing, you know. We got the dogs in the backyard. We got the cat in the front yard. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just play the, we got to play the field the way we got it. We can't <clears> complain about it. We got like what it? we got. Do you like the trade? Do you think it? Do you think it's enough? I wanted win? to see Jew. I wanted to see Jew just play with them to see if they can do something mm -hmm. before they move to trade. Yeah, that was your argument. Yeah, but I lost that argument. <laughs> <laughs> I take my L on that. As soon as it happened, I was like, "Damn, I took the L because I was talking about the cat and the dog and all that." So I was like, <laughs> I could like, always change teams right now. But then I was no, you like, can't. Oh, no, 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 you could. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because ain't no game. Is happening. Ain't no game. Is happening. I was just like, dude. Do he really affect it that much? Like, can we take it all away with Cat? I don't know. Mm. I think both teams won, though, with the trade. I think both. Minnesota, they got a shooter. Like, they got... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah. Minnesota definitely got a shooter. They got a, I mean, they got a Another shooter. I like, I, mean, yeah. I, I like Randall over there, too. I like... I think Minnesota got the best of the trade. I think, yeah. I, I think Minnesota came out on top. For sure. <clears throat> I yeah. Too. 
Because now you get a, like, a solid number two in Julius Randle when he's healthy. Like, you get a, like, someone who's a nice. walking double-double, mm -hmm. 2010 guy. And then they'll, the three. <clears throat> yeah, and you got, I'm, I'm saying you got Dante DiMincenzo is, is that, I'm saying he's become who he is in his league, defender. Yeah. He's going to make big him. shots. He's going to take some big shots and make big shots. It's just something about Carl Anthony Towns' game, man, that just don't do it for me. Like, I don't. It's slow. He do all that, and he averaged 22. He take a lot of shots and only average 22 points. It's like. I still a lot. Coming off injury in back to back he years. Had not when you. Wait, wait, wait. He, wait, wait, he take how many? It's a lot of jump shots. No, he like scores a, a 22 a game. He scores 22 a night, but it, it doesn't. Mm. What does it do for. <coughs> because of how it looks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of jump shots, it's a lot of threes. Yeah. He, you know what? The way he plays the game is the way they think yeah. you should play it now. He either dunking or he's shooting a three. Yeah. Like, that is, there's no there's no in-between with him. So, Cap right? played 62 yeah. games last year, averaged 15 shots a game, but five threes per game. Yeah. 30 shots coming from beyond the arc. He's a black dirt. Yeah, I uh, no. Ooh. Yeah, what? He's no, like no, not as far no, as you, no, no, I'm not, no, 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 you bugging, going crazy. Boy. Can y'all listen? Can y'all just no. fucking stop I, jumping to fucking conclusions and listen? Black so we dirt. talk about basketball, bro? Black okay. I'm not talking about skill, man. What you talking I'm about? talking about style. No. Yes, no. his style is not like, no. what Dirk, is Dirk's style? The, the, the Dirk going on that block. Man, but Dirk not driving the ball to But Dirk getting on the block and posting up. trying to shoot jump shots. But he posting up. But he's doing the same thing. No, no, he not posting up. What you talking about? He just turning Just now. Dirk, man. What you talking about? It's one preseason. Game. Man, listen, man. I Earth. guarded Dirk. Trust me. What that mean? What that? I know I had to guard him, that boy. I'm watching the fucking game. We watching Cat. We ain't, you ain't guard Cat. But I know I said I. So guarded, what you talking I, about? I guarded Dirk, and I know what he dropped the ball at. What that had to do with style of play? I'm talking about jump it's shots. It's not. It's not nowhere I'm near. Jump shots. Nowhere near. I ain't talking about. They right, were, let me not, they let me not say Dirk. Yeah, let me not that's say Dirk. Bad, that's a bad. That's a bad. Lamarcus Aldridge. No, not even him. <laughs> No. So I can't say nobody. No, not even him. I'm not going to say can't. nobody. Because he posted, they weren't in place for him to post. You know why? Because I know, because I know this shit. No, you they can't. Ain't anybody I say going to say no. Up. No, you no. can't. Because he said no before no. I even finished the name. Because they ran place for him to post man. up. Did they? Stop, Listen, I... Both guys you know. Oh, Anthony Towns, a number one pick. Okay. He's a fucking pick and pop player who can shoot the ball in yes. any position on the court. He turn and pop. catch, turn and post, two dribbles back you know down, turn over you. Who does that? Porzingis. Who does that? Porzingis. Lamarcus Aldridge is Porzingis. No, it's no, the same nigga. No. Same nigga. That's three. Yeah, oh. thank you. Ding, yeah, ding, keep ding. going. Get yeah, up. that's three, Hunter, in the box. <laughs> Want to keep going, brother? I'm good. Y'all go ahead. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good last law. Hey, he owed 300. <laughs> so let's, get, let's shift he it over to this side. He owed 300? Yeah. yeah just, that's three. Three, right? The back, the three. back, the back. <laughs> 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 he just said he can control it. Yeah. No, I yeah. can control it. Yeah, no, yeah, I, control I just it. won't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what y'all want. Is that y'all gonna no. want a conversation with me? No, we have to have these things. That's how y'all. The only way y'all no, gonna get done. We have a conversation. You got well, to say you got, you, you got to pull it out. Like you got to do all that. I'm cool. The two people you did not agree with, man. I gave you a guy. You said who? I'm cool, man. Porzingis plays like Carl Anthony Towns. Everybody who knows the game know what they shoot. Jump shot first. That's crazy. Gil, <laughs> no matter who guarding them, it's a jump shot. Like, that's all. How much do you think Cat will move the needle for the Knicks in the East this season? Obviously, Hartenstein went over to the Thunder. We said they had a big step man back. issue they need to address. It's Mitchell Robinson. Back. I mean, you lose Ooh. two big mans to grab one. Yeah, that's a step. Back. Then you got three centers in the three centers coming off the bench. Yeah. I think where it hurts is you don't have an enforcer anymore that um, protects Brunson. Right, you know, when you start getting to some of those teams that like to play bully basketball, just bring him in here, we're gonna hit him a little bit. You don't have anybody that's gonna have his back, <laughs> right? You know, that ain't Cat's job. You know, he's not gonna be sitting there trying to level people that, that, that hit Brunson a few times. So I think that's gonna hurt them a little bit moving, moving forward and Cat don't get to the free throw line. So because Cat don't get fouls, he, he doesn't create foul opportunities, now that means your best player at 5'10, 5'11, fuck it, 6'1, right? I just give him the benefit of the doubt, 6'1. I appreciate that. He's gonna, have to, he's gonna have to create all of the fouls. So that means you're allowed to hit this man in the backcourt and they take the ball out. Mm -hmm. Like when you're a scoring, when you're a scoring guard, you need someone that can 
get some of those fouls. So when you got somebody picking you up full court that's giving you little cheap shots, there's no taking that about. I get to walk down and shoot free throws now. Now you have to play me different. Yeah, like right? a nice heart. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we will, yeah. Well, well, be, well yeah. yeah. You know, we will, we will but get you don't into get that fouled. Yeah. So nobody, that's what I'm saying. There's nobody that creates. There's yeah. nobody that creates fouls. So now it's just Brunson the whole time. Yeah. Cat only averaged 4.7 free throw attempts per game the past two seasons. So I understand. So what that's you're what I said. So it'll help. It'll help uh, Ant Man because now you know yeah, Julie's playing Brunson. bully ball. There's yes. going to be some three, four <laughs> little ticky tack fouls. Now Ant Man's coming one on one. Now he don't have to waste that energy to get that free throw line. So I'm, I'm sure his free throw is going to go up. And you running plays for, for Julius Randle to put him in one-on-one situations, yeah. create one-on-one situations for him. And to Gil's point, yeah, he's going to get fouled. Yeah. And, yeah, so it just helped. Yeah, I just yeah, I just didn't understand it. Like, yeah, I'm – like I said, it was a good trade for Minnesota. Like, I really like it for Minnesota. I don't know what – like, I really don't know what it does for the Knicks. Yo, so where do you see the Knicks now, though? You see the Knicks still being top three? No. Um – no. I don't think so. I mean, they did the I don't trade, think so. I don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't think so. I don't think they go top three now. Would you, just, would you just got rid of Hart and kept Dante? Dante? Yep. But they didn't want, they didn't want Hart. They wanted, um, mm-hmm. so they wanted Dante. <clears throat> I'm saying that was like, I'm going to listen to the game yesterday, and they, like, they was, I guess they wanted him when he was a free agent, mm-hmm. and the Knicks had more money to give him. So he signed back with them, but I guess there's, yeah. but, but that was the rumor. Yeah, we signed they, a four-year deal with yeah, the Knicks. Yeah, signed a four-year, and uh, I guess Minnesota didn't have the money to give him, so. Yeah, you think they style <clears> more <throat> like Boston style, chucking a bunch of threes? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you got one guy driving, you got one guy putting pressure on the rim and Jalen Brunson because he's. They're going to yeah, live in right? that three. And you got a slash in Mikael Bridges, but he's going to stand out there and just spot <clears> shoot because Jalen Brunson going to have the ball in his hand a lot now. I mean, then you bring they, the, then you bring the campaign I mean, they in. Could, they could survive. Not top three, though. So three, last season, they, uh, top, I mean, they, you got Boston, you got Philly. But you get worse defensively, though. But in regular, I mean, but regular you got season. Milwaukee. I'm saying, you get worse defensively. Who, who is cat like? But I'm saying, you know, regular season, like, usually fast teams who can get up and score a lot, they're going to they jump out ahead. True, true. Right? True, true, Philly, true. you know, they could. They could. Top three, Milwaukee's still in the fray. You still got Boston. I think Boston going. They, they, they going. They might have a better record walking. than they did last year. Some man. dog walking yeah, going gonna on. There's going to be some dog walking going on in Boston yeah, this look. year. They might not lose at home. It's going to be one of them yeah. years. Yeah. So Knicks made it to the second round, lost to the Pacers in seven. Timberwolves made it to the Western Conference Finals. Who do you see making a deeper playoff run, as currently assembled between those two teams? Timberwolves. I, I think T Wolves. So you think T-Wolves get over the hump? Look, there's a chance the Knicks could lose in the first round. Depends on the matchup. Okay, Maybe. but you okay. so It could be a 4-5 matchup, right? It could be a 4-5 matchup, but it would be a bad matchup. Ooh, yeah. I'm just saying. Mm. Yeah. And they could be the fifth seed and not have, not have home court. Yeah. Like, it's... I think Minnesota is top three teams in the, in the West, easily. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, the way they defend, listen, man, hey... They was getting out of them. them boys playing defense yesterday, man. I don't know. Yeah, I saw Ann <laughs> and, and putting in work. In no, the what's his name? Got in foul trouble early. McDaniels got in foul trouble, so he had and, to guard and, Jalen Brunson. And, I mean, and Julius is there now with his, with his toughness. He's going to buy They're going to be, yeah, oh, they they gonna be, be good. really gonna good defensively. He gonna, and you got Nas Reed in the starting lineup. He get to take more shots because you don't – I'm saying Rudy not – can't. so, I, yeah. they going to be all right. I like. They have a lot of firepower. Uh, I like trying to come so, back. Is this what this is a, to his point? I think like this is a prime example. You sitting around overdoing your job, right? Overdoing your job. Overdoing it. Like you got. It was fine. You you, you don't know what you're gonna look like to your point with Julius Randle. You can always move. Yeah. You can, you can always do whatever you was gonna do with Julius Randle, right? Mm-hmm. He's got one more year on his deal, right? So he's going to last year of his deal. Obviously, there was a talk about extension, yeah. but just not knowing what the future holds. Obviously, this got a lot so, of bread yeah, tied so up. Yeah, so you can always trade that line or before, let the season go, see how, if it ain't meshing, if he ain't, then you make that move. But I, I just, I think you're overdoing it at this point. Like, you had something good. Yeah. And for anybody who said, well, you want to be there, though. <clears throat> So, I mean, you know, if it's... Nah, it, I, you can't say that because he did get offended when his jersey wasn't in that... Uh, that's what I'm saying. So, so, I don't, he, so, so I don't think he wanted to really be there. No, what I'm saying, like, if you I don't, don't want to be there, you don't give two fucks. Okay, so have, that's... I know, that's what I'm saying. So him so him leaving is... I don't think it had nothing to do with Julius. Yeah. I think this had anything to do with Cat. Minnesota wanted to get off Cat. Off that bread. And Cat, <laughs> remember, if y'all think back... Because you can't get off that Middle of the season last year, they had a game where Cat scored a lot of points. Mm-hmm. 
and then he started chucking up shots, trying to lost. chase the record. And they and no, I think they won. I think they won that game. No, they won. They lost. Because the coach went into the press conference and got mad at Cat and was just like, this is unacceptable. 60, 62 points in the loss. The coach uh, yeah, said, lost. said yeah, it lost. was immature. He was mad, right? He said it was okay. immature they basketball. Never got, they never got back from that energy, right? That energy was like, Cat just not serious. And this is after he had, you know, he had a loss in the family. He had got hurt or whatever. Now he's back. He's healthy. But it's just like, it's not the same. He's not a leader. So they mm -hmm. wanted to move on from Cat, give him the opportunity to make a trade for the perceivably fucked up Julius Randle situation in New York. So if you can perceive that that's an opportunity for us to call over there and see what y'all got, what y'all want to get off over there? Mm -hmm. We'll get y'all cat, what y'all willing to give us? Now think about it, if they not thinking about getting off Jew, and they not thinking about getting off DiVincenzo, the conversation ain't even gonna be had because we're just running back. We run it back with a healthy team. Mm -hmm. Shit, y'all won't give us cat? Shit, what, 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 what y'all think? We'll take Julius, hey, throw DiVincenzo uh, in. Is this vegan? We got, yeah. okay. yeah. we got we got the, <laughs> we got the Mr. B juice in the arena. Hopefully this gentleman's cut. Shout oh, out to Steph. Just, man, I gotta go talk to some. <laughs> I got a business event. You got two things two. to do today. Oh, what? I sent us, sir. <laughs> but Brandon, obviously you sat here on this couch, said you like the move before it happened. Yeah, but I don't know now. <laughs> uh, there's some things going on in the Knicks. Knicks a little chatty. We, we will get into yeah. it shortly, but... I don't know now. Some will say disrespectful, but... Is it the DiVincenzo part that... Yeah. Like, yeah, it, yeah, like it's, I, it's you know part. what I mean? Is it that part that it's just, that part like, I don't like ah. that they gave up the... Uh, yeah, I don't like the Knicks gave up Dante. I just... Yeah, because I don't... But I knew that I... Don't, if you would have got somebody else for DiVincenzo, I would have been like, all right. Cat just don't do it for me, man. I don't know what it is about his game, whatever. But when it's you, time, yeah, it just don't. Yeah. Are you coming off two players? Like, like, yeah, like, you're coming up, like, yeah. like, so like, this like season? Yeah. Huh? players like four. Yeah. Were the same kind of minutes available for DiVincenzo this season no. when you bring no. up Bridges? No. no. I think so. It was going to be, it was going to be, it was going to be. Was he going to be the odd man? No, no, it was going to be him or Josh. They're, they're, those two friends are going to fight over minutes. He makes shots. I know. One play defense, one sacrifice. So it's going to be whatever Tibbs value the most, right? Yeah. I mean, he just scored zero yesterday in 25 minutes. So, you know, he's going to sacrifice for the rest of the team. So it's, at the end of the day, they were going to bump against each other on that, that contract. And because DiVincenzo would have been up soon, you screw him over. How much, you got a couple more years I, left on it. But team. I'm just saying, you, you'd rather screw him over so he don't get a bigger bag. Well, it was a hard situation for him. Uh, played in 81 games last season, started 63, set a Knicks franchise record with 283. <laughs> Three-pointers made. 63 but, averaged 19 as a starter. You wait, can't put him back the on the question, bench. Here's the question. Did he ask to go, or did they just put him in the trade? Put him in the trade. Put him in the trade. So if they put him in the trade, he ain't got nothing to do with him. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. He asked for a trade. Who did nah, he ask? Nah. No, did? I thought he asked for a trade. Nah, he, That's why I'm asking. No, nah, he said he, he refuted those reports. There was, there was talk that oh. he was unhappy, disgruntled. Uh, he talked last night after the, the Knicks Timberwolves game said he didn't want to be traded and that there was really no talk before the trade about his role and minutes diminishing or any of that type of stuff that we knew was likely going to be a result of Mikael Bridges joining that squad. But let's talk about the Knicks a little bit more now. So Knicks will likely roll out a starting five of Brunson, Bridges, Josh Hart, OG Ananobi, and Cap. Do the Knicks have the best starting five in the league right now? No. That's no. a question, Gil. Question mark. There's a yes answer and a no answer. That's why we ask questions on this here program. No, but I do like that five, though. But no. Boston. Boston still got the... Yeah. Denver. Where, did, where does you, it start? Are you five? asking me? No. I'm, the answer to the question, no. Exclamation point. And you, do you feel like this is a worse starting five than what they had last season? Yes, exclamation point. <laughs> That's why we <laughs> ask questions. No. Yeah, they definitely got the best starting on them. Our resident Knicks fan, you supportive of that starting five? Yeah, absolutely. The best Denver. starting five? Yeah, in the league. Celtics still got their crew. Yeah. Nuggets still in the mix. Mm hmm So you got, uh, so you got Philly? Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are y'all rolling with... Huh? Hmm? I know you're rolling with that Philly squad. Yeah, I'm rolling with Philly. I don't okay. mind. All day. I mean, Philly's going to be good. I'm like, we're not... You got a solid three. You got a solid point. <clears throat> solid... 
four. I like OG. You got a, you got a, got a solid five. You got a solid four. You got a solid five. I, I can't be the two, the two. I can't be two, but look, I know, I know where, I know where it's the, bro, it's the bro, down, You can downplay the two guard position because he doesn't score. Yeah, and it's like you look at the two guard, you're like, yeah. but it is but Josh. He, but he guards, so he, rebounds, know, he rebounds, he rebounds. We know if, he, if he needs to score 20, he will. What? It is, but it, it's not in this. It ain't because we asking him. For yeah, yeah, yeah. He just no, might I, do it. He so might, when you look he, at he it, he just might like, give us 20 randomly. And like, we didn't even ask for this shit today. <laughs> we didn't ask for it. Appreciate it, though. Here you go. I got my 17 yeah. offensive rebounds. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. So, as a, with the, the way the lineup is, you do need somebody to sacrifice, and it's easier for him to do it than anybody else. So, I'm not mad at the starting five. I'm not mad at it, but I don't It's not the best, though. Five. He said, is it the best starting five in the NBA? It was a question. Yeah, it was. I do not believe it to be true. Well, you know. But underdog pays me. That's I got starting five. Who, who was the name throwing out this year? Who Sacramento was throwing out? Um, they starting five. Ooh. Ooh. Sacramento starting yeah. five. Yeah. Aaron Fox. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to be with Mark. Phoenix Suns? They still yeah, they five, man, though. Mm. Well, they ain't got no five. Well, well they do. Got, they got a heavy ass three. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They got a solid Alex point. Mavericks? Huh? Solid point? Huh? Solid Alex point. Mavericks? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Was cool. I mean, then it's one thing you say it's on paper, but then you just look at how they play. Mm -hmm. Are we seeing you add those additions? You say, still got the Thunder play, in the mix. Play too. with Philly, Dallas, Minnesota starting five. Philly, Minnesota, Minnesota for Minnesota. sure. Minnesota starting five is like that. <laughs> Even though I'm not a Rudy fan. So who do you move? Who are you move? Mm -hmm. Not a Rudy fan, but still. Who are you moving on for, that? Who is McDaniel's? Who is who? Steven Chiso starting? Yes. Yeah. For who? Himself. Yeah. Him, him. Who, who does he? Oh yeah, what well, Conley? Who does he got, move? You got, you got Conley? Conley? I don't think Mike Conley. You now it's restarts, I believe. Conley. I don't know. They're, they're, I, I don't Mike know their lineup. They the haven't bench. had everybody, so Mike we don't Conley know Conley. Drew, who? These are six guys right here. Who Conley coming it's off Gobert, the bench? Gobert, Anthony Edwards playing. Randall, um, uh, McDaniel's, Vincenzo, and McDaniel's, and Conley, and, Go and we said Edwards. So like between Gobert, Nas, and and Julius. You can start all three of them? No. It's too big. Well, well, uh, is Nas Reed's contract up? He's still a six man. No, he got he's some more years. He's he still a six man. Six man, man of the year. He's still a six man. Okay. Hold Rudy it down. Unless you bring in Rudy off the bench. No. Nah. Ooh. Sacre Blue. So that's now what I'm saying. If you're not no, going to you bring him. So Nas Reed. You got it. One more year on the field and a player option. Let him be him. Nas Reed. So player option this summer. Wait, wait. So he can be a free agent this summer? He can uh, opt he can out of opt deal out and be after free. this season. Yes, you he can. You still let him be Six him. man. You still let him be him, though. He still got six man. Nas Reed. You're going to make Nas Reed a six man because you don't That's want fine. him to be a starter. That's his and role. And then that motherfucker opt out. And That's then, his role, though. And then he, it was his role <laughs> until you make him a starter. Then the starting is his role. Yeah. I'd yeah. be, yeah. be damned I have. I'd be damned I have. I play all 82 games and motherfucker average 20. And you tell me I'm a six man. When Cat was down, he averaged like 18. He picked up the slack. I think they're going to try to James Harden him. Like what they did at OKC. Bring him off the bench, and then hopefully he opts out this year, and they can re-sign him as a six-man contract, and then start his ass next year. Because <laughs> I think they're gonna let Randall go. He's really? he's up, right? They let Randall go, and then you got Nas Reed as your starting power four. So we asked the chat: Do the Knicks have the best starting five in the NBA? As expected, seventy-nine percent said no. Anybody here think the Knicks have the best starting five? Okay, a lot of head shaking. No. We are red. Our other one, resident Knicks fan. So one person. Da, 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 da. Wait, you said you think the best starting five? For sure. He has to think. He's a Knicks. He's a Knicks. He's a Knicks. He's a Knicks. Number, Number one he's, seed in, in oh, Adam Silver's somebody, Eastern Conference. Oh, he's a Knicks fan. Hey, uh, can yeah, we drug test? We still got to play basketball. Who got the cup? Hey, we still <laughs> got to play basketball. <laughs> we, got, we, got we still got to play basketball. Producer. That's true. At the end of the day, you look hard at how drug. we play hard basketball. Drug. Yeah, we test the producer for hard drugs. New York play basketball, man. Real drug. They play good basketball. <laughs> they definitely do. No, I'm not mad. Everybody not. else be playing erratic. They don't play good basketball. So the Knicks, the only team that play good basketball. Then. No, I'm not saying oh. that. I'm saying that they do. They do. The they play better they, than the Celtics. No, no. I'm about to say the Brunson team that you plays choose, good but basketball. But that's a good enough. <laughs> He's a system, right? <laughs> yeah. If we're going to create yeah. the system around Brunson, all yeah. we need yeah. is him to yeah. play. Yeah, yeah. Brunson plays hard. Yeah, everybody else move around. You take him off. Yeah, you take him off. They erratic. He plays. System ball. We system around. Now they got some smart basketball players over yeah, there. For sure. I think that take you a long way when you play smart. He's the new James Harden. Who? Who? Brunson? No, 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 no. You think so? Just a lot of dribbling and shooting to get into the free throw line. You know what he is? Purpose. He's a scoring Chris Paul. Yes. 
Ooh. No. Yes. What I'm saying is you're not Chris no. Paul controls the game yes. I'm with you. for the pass. Score anytime he wants. He controls but he'll pass it for the, the first, first, though. No, but that's why Chris still a passer first. No, no, that's what Chris Paul. But I'm saying Chris Paul he controls the game. He controls the game. He controls the game. He manipulates the game. No, he don't manipulate the game. He manipulates the game. In the pick and roll. Y'all call it control. Y'all call it control. I call it manipulation. No, yeah. Okay, manipulation. He ain't going to. Brunson ain't going to hit two threes and then come down and try to take a 40 footer just for the heat check. No, he's going to go right back to. He's going to go right back to. Yes. I'm up. Nah, you gonna play? You gonna play 24 seconds, goddamn? Yeah, yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm gonna wear your ass out. I'm gonna wear you down. That is, yeah, that's a lot of. That's the, smart. That's a lot of fucking pro. It's a lot of probing with him. Hell yeah. I'm like, dude, shoot it. <laughs> like, nah, the guy's still getting tired. Oh, the guy's still getting tired. That's that Tony Parker shit, man. Duh, yeah. foul. Yeah, they go to like, shoot the layup. Shoot the layup. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. Before we get in more in depth on the Wolf side of the deal, we got to talk about some situations that went down Sunday in the Garden.